YouTube, what is up? It's AD with US Squads. I really hope you're enjoying your day. Today we're gonna just show you a cool EOTech site. This is the Zombie Stopper XPS2. And I wanna give you kind of a little run through on this particular EOTech. Now, it won't be an unboxing because I don't have the box. I got a really good deal on this holographic site. And so I don't have any manuals or any cool plastic box. So uh, it's gonna be just kind of a review video. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. I actually used it on my rifle at today's three gun match. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts on how that ran. Uh, in the background is the 517. You've seen it before in my other videos. You've seen it on other rifles. It's a great holographic sight. Um, I'll put the link to my review on that video right there and you can watch that too when you have a second. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about this bad boy. In fact, I'm gonna slide this out of the, out of the picture and we're gonna go back to this. Now the XPS2 uh, I think it takes about four inches total length versus the almost six inches here. So it obviously takes up a lot less room on your rail so you can have more space for other things or simply just simplifies your rifle by just occupying less rail space on your flat top upper. Now uh, the windage and elevations are on the right side similar to your standard model but unlike this, this does not have the uh, AA batteries, two AA batteries. It, the mechanism for your standard EOTech you pull this lever here lever and your AA batteries pop out and that's it right well on the XPS2 version there's this little screw cap you unscrew this here on the right side and there's a o-ring that makes it a little tight which is fine and your CR123 battery a single CR CRT uh, CR123 battery is in the optic Okay. There's a little lanyard here that's kind of put in a little wire that keeps it so you don't lose this just in case you're silly. But you won't be changing this battery out much. Um, on brightness level 15 out of 20, uh, it's rated at 600 hours of use. So that's pretty, pretty insane. 600 hours is a lot of time. So with that being said, uh, the thumb screw is here on the left side similar to your other ones and then... Uh, that's your battery compartment, just a single CR123 battery. Your barcode, your cool barcode for warranty reasons here on the bottom. And of course your EOTech uh, manufacturer date is right there also so you can know what age this uh, particular holographic site is. Now, there's no night vision on this particular zombie stopper model. This is the XPS2Z model, I believe. Let me see here, let me look at the and uh, MSRP on this is not cheap, ladies and gentlemen. $588. You can find them for about $550 to $520 all day long on eBay. But be forewarned, you want to make sure you get a legitimate EOTech L3 holographic zombie stopper. There are imitations out there. You want to be aware of that. So um, maybe I'll put a link at the descriptions to give you an idea of how you can check to see if they're fake or not. Um, you don't want to spend your hard-earned money and get a fake, fake, fake site. So uh, what I'm going to try to do here is show you guys what this biohazard thing looks like. There we go. Do you see that? That is pretty ridiculous. How cool is that? Now it's hard to see, but that's what it looks like. Let me shut off this light here and see if uh, i give you a little bit better shot of that biohazard. There we go. Check that out. That's pretty ridiculous, huh? So I'm gonna um, quickly show you what the standard EOTech, uh, the standard looks like, just so you can compare and contrast, as we have both here. So here's the standard reticle, all right? You're used to that. And here's the biohazard reticle. Pretty cool, right? Here, it's actually similar to the reticle you'll see, right? right here it's actually identical so this is a print version of what you actually see right here so pretty cool um, obviously the camera doesn't show how big it is actually much bigger in the heads-up display uh, another side note when you to shut shut it off you just press both buttons and it'll shut the reticle off but if you activate the reticle with the down button it will auto shut off in four hours if you activate the reticle, uh, the, the holographic site with the up button, it'll shut off in eight hours. So you don't have to really stress out about the battery draining out on you. 
and uh, that's pretty much it there's not much to it this is it zombie stopper pretty cool um, one complaint I did have is that as I was trying to focus and and target these little prongs these little biohazard prongs kind of got in my because it's, it's actually much bigger on this heads-up display than it shows in the camera I had a kind of hard time on dark settings I had to lighten up the reticle so I can see past these little prongs so I guess what I'm saying is rather than a circle with little hash marks and a red dot I had these little prongs that were sticking out that were kind of disrupting my wider f field of view and that was me shooting a match I did still shoot those ma uh, the match okay and I'll actually have some videos of me shooting at the match with this particular holographic site on there so uh, that's it uh, there's a whole spec sheet I'll put the link to EO, uh, L3 EOTech's website so you can uh, read up on all the specs because I'm missing a few things I'm sure but that's the gist of it so I'm gonna leave you with this cool sight picture because it is pretty badass and if you don't think that's badass you are not a zombie killer I'm gonna shut this light off show you even better look at that Woo -hoo -hoo. that's some cool stuff boys that is cool 20 brightness settings it's definitely on the pricey side. The, all these holographic sites, Aimpoint, EOTech, they're all about 500 bucks. They're not cheap. So uh, that's it. Thumbs up. Any questions, comments below. And if you think the zombie stopper's cool, let me know. Um, I do, other than the reticle kind of being in my field of view, um, I still think this is a pretty cool site. I'll have to shoot it more often to see if I want to keep this site or sell it i haven't 100 percent decided but i definitely bought it wanted to try it out and then i definitely wanted to show you guys this particular uh site so thumbs up have a good day enjoy your life we'll talk to you guys soon appreciate it bye